Hi guys and gals, Double B Billy Boudreaux, aka Russell Gamer, back here on the WGS YouTube channel. Well, Friday Night Smackdown was tonight, so let's go ahead and give you a rundown and quick thoughts on everything that happened here. Um, they opened up with a uh, promo with Alberto Del Quifo, as we call him here on the WGS, and the everything that happened at WrestleMania, saying that his destiny was delayed and everything. I think the only thing that's delayed is is his constipation. Anyway, we all know Alberto Clay. He never has constipation. Big old boy. Anyway, um, basically it was a Wrestle, uh, a WrestleMania style promo, reaction promo from Edge and Christian and Alberto Del Quifo. And then it was a match set up um, later on the night by Teddy Long, Christian versus Del Quifo. And the winner, it becomes the number one contender to face Edge at Extreme Rules and Edge's specialty match, which we all know is the ladder match. So then we had an eight man, the basically, for those of you who've seen the, my WrestleMania video already, you all know my thoughts on the eight-man tag match from WrestleMania. That was Big Show, Kane, Kofi Kingston, Santino Morella taking on the core. So, instead of just burying that awful freaking match, what does WWE do? They prolong the agony by making it a rematch. and but not o On SmackDown, but not only just that, a two out of three falls match. Why? Why would anybody care about this freaking storyline involving the core and Big Show, Kofi Kingston, Kane, and Santino Morella? I mean, the, God, the WrestleMania match was absolute crap. So what does WWE do? Hey, we're going to take a big fat fucking shit all over your, your dignity and make you watch a two out of three falls match, which was a little bit better. Maybe we could call it dung. It wasn't shit that was at WrestleMania. It was dung. Tonight, that's what it was, in my opinion. Then we had a uh, Trent Barretta jobbing to Cody Rhodes, and then after the match was over, Cody Rhodes was attacking Trent Barretta, and then of course Rey Mysterio, you know, got to be like Super Cena, you know, got to overcome the odds. He didn't overcome the odds at WrestleMania, but um, he came out and pretty, pretty much saved Trent Barretta from getting his ass whooped, which is pretty much every time we see him on SmackDown nowadays. Um, Kelly Kelly and Beth Phoenix took on Lay Cool. Now, we've been talking about this for quite some time on WGS Radio. The fact that there p quite possibly could be a breakup of Lake Hool. You know, we, they were hinting at it at first, and then they got back together. And, and now from what happened tonight, it looks like it could be an, another breakup of Lake Hool from what we've seen. Because um, Michelle McCool turned her back on Lake, uh, Layla in the match, and Kelly Kelly and Beth Phoenix won. And then they showed a replay of what J uh, Michael Cole did to Jim Ross on, Mon um, on Monday Night Raw, which, again, is wrong. But um, he's laughing about it. Then Jack Swagger comes out. Basically, you know, they're doing their gay little running and everything like that. I'm sure that in somewhere in the, the homosexual community he feels at, right at home does Michael Cole, considering the fact he lives in the gay cave. Anyway... What I found interesting next is the fact that Sin Cara came out and did a number on Jack Swagger. Now that now that throws everything up in the air. I mean, where is Sin Cara going to be put on? Will it be on Monday Night Raw? Because when we, um, he was on Monday Night Raw, I could have sworn, you know, he when he debuted on on WWE television that he was going to be they're going to be thrusting him into an angle with Sheamus and the United States title, and now they. They have him come out and attack Jack Swagger on SmackDown. It kind of leaves up right in the air. I mean, where are they going to be going with Sin Cara? Where are they going to be taking him in his first run in the WWE? Especially in the initial in this initial stages of his rival. And, of course, Michael Cole wasn't happy about it that uh, Josh Matthews and Booker T were talking about something else. I mean, come on, you, Michael Cole. You don't – first of all, don't insult our intelligence about everything. I mean – I mean, because I'll tell you what, I thoroughly, you may have won the match at WrestleMania, but I thoroughly enjoyed watching Jerry the King of Lauder kick the shit out of you at uh, WrestleMania. And secondly, if you ever wear, an, uh, Michael Cole, if you ever think about wearing an orange singlet in public again, I am going to organize a committee to start a manhunt on you, find out where you live, and pretty much tear your, burn your house down and 
attack you for wearing an awful orange singlet in public. You, I mean, you look like, again, like I said on the uh, my WrestleMania video, you look like a big freaking gay pumpkin. Why? Why? Why did you think that was good? Because it was not good. So, now we have the main event in time. Again, the number one contendership uh, was on the line as Alberto Del Quifo took on Christian. Um, I think at some point in the match, um, an injury was happened to Christian's shoulder. Because there was a big red bruise and a big mark, like right here on his shoulder. And I'm not sure what exactly happened. I didn't see where it happened at. Or maybe it was something that happened and they edited out of Friday Night Smackdown. Because we all know Friday Night Smackdown is taped unless they say it's live. But something must have happened. I don't know. How, um, he, it looked like he might have... Cl um, if they did go outside... And run into the ring uh, ring steps. He might have collided with it too hard because he kind of had the markings on his shoulder of the fact that that happened. So I'm not sure exactly what are the details on that. If if somebody out there who's watching this video right now can ascertain those details and find out exactly what happened with Christian in that match, please leave it in the comment in the comment section below because it from the mark that was left on his shoulder, that looked like it really freaking hurt. But uh, that goes to show you even the training professionals do get hurt. But uh, anyway, Alberto Del Rio, Rio get the, got the win in this match. And so now it's going to be a number one content contender again. So it's going to be Del Rio taking on Edge for the World Heavyweight title. At extreme rules in a ladder match. Now, again, that's just showing the fact that they can thrust Del Rio all they want into the main event spotlight. But if he, I really don't think he's ready to be a world heavyweight champion. I really don't think he's ready for that kind of responsibility. Then, then again, that's just my opinion on it. I want to hear what your guys' opinion were on Friday Night SmackDown. Leave your comments in a comment section below. Until then, I'm Double B Billy Boudreaux, aka Wrestle Gamer. Thank you for watching my SmackDown results and reactions video.